A sunny summer day in a beautiful Dutch polder landscape. Nothing seems to be wrong. However, sometimes appearances are deceiving. What went wrong that this serious accident could occur? Who can explain this? Let's have a look at what actually did go wrong. Construction of the road body puts an extra load on the underlying soft soil layers. Such soft soils are common in Holland and other comparable river delta areas around the world. Soil settlements will then develop through the years. These will gradually take the pipeline with them. If such soil settlements have not been taken into account at the design stage of the pipeline, then the angular rotations in the coupling sockets become too large and the pipeline will fail. Nothing exceeds the joy of an adventurous walk in the desert, in that silent, peaceful environment. Although, it is quite warm. Ay, 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 ay. What's the matter here again, for heaven's sake? Here in the desert, it may become quite warm. But it's not the sun that heats up the pipeline and lets it expand. It's the high temperature of the gas that flows from the borehole. Due to this expansion, a compressive force is generated in the pipeline. And if the topsoil overburden is insufficient, then the pipeline will buckle upward. There's loss of lateral stability and a new actual equilibrium is found with the friction forces in the soil. As a consequence of the high curvatures of the pipeline in the soil, large yield strains are induced in the pipe material. These may lead to cracks. The escaping gas may become ignited by sand grains that are blown away and may act as small flintstones. And a true inferno will develop. <laughs> You've guessed it already, nothing is wrong. Well, nothing. Is one nowhere safe anymore? pipeline that runs over the sea bottom towards an offshore platform will expand due to temperature and high pressure of the medium. 
This expansion is counteracted by the friction between the pipeline and the sea bottom. However, if as a result of wave and current action, lifting forces are exerted on the pipeline, the soil friction will diminish locally and the pipeline will expand a little more each time. If the pipeline runs straight to the platform, the riser stub may severely deform and the pipe material will yield. As a consequence, the material may crack, ending in a riser failure. Well, is it possible not only to explain all this misery, but also to avoid it, you may have asked yourself in the meantime. My answer is yes, with sufficient knowledge and experience on the behavior of pipelines in soils and with a suitable design and auditing tool. PLE for Win is unique in that respect. A fast and stable computer program dedicated to the analysis of strength and stability of such pipelines. It can boast a nearly 50 years record of service by the developers as well as with a large circle of international users. Through simulation in a geotechnical pipe soil model, such design questions can be understood as realistic as possible. With help of the program, more reliable designs can be achieved. Design failures can be avoided as much as possible. The articulated pipeline is now shifted to the outside of the safety zone and beyond the soil settlement zone. The replacing continuous steel pipe can oppose the settlements. PLE for win could have shown beforehand that the socket would fail in due time. Oops, this accident cannot be avoided with the aid of PLE for win This kind of damage that we name upheaval buckling can be avoided through sufficient soil cover and a sufficient bending construction radius. How much cover and how large the bending radius shall be, based on the safety factor to be applied, is to be determined with PLE for Win. With PLE for Win, design questions can be simulated and alternatives analyzed, resulting in safer pipeline structures and much money to be saved, as for instance in the case of the offshore example. Through expansion, the riser stub was pushed towards the platform leg, ending in a failure of the pipeline, an interruption of production and an environmental disaster. This could have been considered beforehand and avoided by proper analysis of alternative shapes of the riser tie-in structure and by placing a weight mattress so the sea line can expand freely now without loading the riser stub. With PLE for win at hand, an experienced pipeline engineer can design safe and efficient pipeline structures or investigate the safety of existing structures or find out the causes of pipeline damages. This analysis robot will always give you the right answers on the condition that you give it proper food. Because the reverse is also true. Garbage in is garbage out. Just have a look at ple4win.com and download the free educational version. Also download and take some time to study the free tutorial. You surely will quickly understand the easy to use user interface to the model. Any questions? Put them forward to the forum on the site or directly to us at Expert Design Systems.